Hello, my most amazing artist. I'm already going to pause the video so we can talk about this picture. All right, guys, we're going to use a pencil, an eraser, and possibly markers today, but I don't know if you're going to get to the marker part. And what you have to think about is what would you see on a farm? We've already found out Alabama farmers raise chicken, catfish, quail, eggs, cows, or cattle. Alabama farmlands also sometimes have forest where they cut the trees down and use the timber. Sod, which is a grass farm. Cotton, cotton is one of the number one producing crops in Alabama. Peanuts, pecans, blueberries, peaches. She might draw a peach tree or a blueberry bush and soybeans. So in your picture, you could draw a barn, you could draw animals, but think about those things that are in Alabama farms. So the things I just listed, so you might have chickens or cows. Um, you might have a pond with catfish. Think about that. Also think about farming equipment. You know, maybe you have a tractor. The first thing that I want you to do is draw a horizon line. That's probably a new word for you guys. I'm gonna make mine a little bit hilly because Alabama has rolling hills. This line shows where the sky comes down and meets the earth. Let's take a look at a picture. Notice the blue of the sky comes all the way down until you see the earth. All right, did you see how the sky the blue came all the way down. Now, if you drew a barn, you could draw the barn up here on the horizon line, or you could draw it down here. But whatever is in the front of your picture, this is called the foreground, it will be bigger. So if I were to draw a little chicken up here, I would draw a little bitty one. If I were to draw a chicken down here, I would draw it much bigger. Let's say that I wanna draw a house up here on my horizon line. My, the bottom of my house needs to touch the horizon line. If I draw it up here, it would look like it's floating in the sky. So I could just draw me a little house. Maybe it has a garage like that, I don't know. Um, but if I drew a barn down here, I would want to draw it bigger. And look, I'm just using basic shapes. I'm drawing a square for my barn. I'm drawing a triangle for the roof. I'm drawing another square inside for my barn doors. Maybe I'll draw a little hayloft up here with some hay in there. I could draw a chicken up at the top. Okay, so uh, objects that are closer to the bottom of your paper are gonna be bigger, okay? Objects closer to the top of your paper are gonna be smaller. I might wanna choose to draw a sun. And then I'm just gonna decide what I want on here. Now, my kindergartners, I'm going to help you write the theme of the poster, Sweet Grown Alabama. So when I get to your desk, you should be drawing. And when I get to your desk, you are going to tell me where you want Sweet Grown Alabama. And I'm going to draw it really lightly and let you trace it. So I might decide that I want to write Sweet Grown Alabama right here. You have to have the theme on your poster. And it can be anywhere on your poster. And again, Miss Kilgore will help you write it because that's a lot of words to spell. 
all right? And then I would wanna to continue to add some pictures on here. So today we're gonna to focus on drawing with pencil. Um, and if you get a chance, you could trace with marker, but I don't know that we'll get to that point today. Next week will be all about coloring this. So today we just wanna get everything drawn. We wanna think about farms. So again, I have my barn, I might draw some animals, I might draw a fence. Might draw some cows in my fence. But anyway, you'll get the idea. You can draw it however you want. My fence looks a little bit odd. You should have an eraser so that if you need to erase, you can. You also need to draw lightly. If you press down really, 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 really hard with your pencil, it makes it hard to erase. If I press down lightly, I can erase just really easily. Again, my fence is gonna be taller and bigger down here. Because it is closer to the bottom. I might draw some cows in here. I might draw a pond back here, maybe on the horizon. Draw some grass around my pond. Okay. So get really creative with what you want to draw. All right, have fun.